As North Korea continues its nuclear threat, South Korea and the U.S. remain on the same page when it comes to curbing Pyongyang's provocations. The two allies have and will continue to pressure the regime to give up its nuclear weapons program. Connie Kim shares with us what's discussed at their biannual high-level security talks. South Korea and the U.S. reiterated their mutual cooperation on deterring threats coming from North Korea and will continue to seek various ways to curb its provocations. Wrapping up the two-day Korea-U.S. integrated defense dialogue held in Washington, Seoul said Thursday the two countries have reconfirmed that the North's fourth nuclear test, its intercontinental ballistic missile, and submarine-launched ballistic missile launches are a grave threat not only to Seoul-Washington alliance, but also to the world's peace and security. The two allies also called on Pyongyang to give up its nuclear arms in a, quote, complete, verifiable, and irreversible way in their biannual defense talks. Pyongyang has risen to be a great concern in regional security after forging ahead with a nuclear test, long-range missile and SLBM launches this year. What's more, the possibility of another nuke test at the regime's Pungeri nuclear test site, the same location where the previous four tests were held, remains unchanged. North Korea has completed preparations for a test at the Pungeri test site. We are continuously monitoring the developments there. Recent satellite imagery at Pungeri showed low levels of activity at main portals and vehicles from the command center have withdrawn, suggesting a test is not expected anytime soon. But South Korean military officials are keeping close tabs of the nuclear test site, not ruling out the possibility of Pyongyang carrying out a surprise nuclear test at the least expected moment. Connie Kim, Arirang News.